Hi, this is Vicki Gelf with Parnell, and I would like to share a vision that I had while praying and interceding um, today, 7 10 22, and this vision occurred at 12 57 p.m. And um, as always, I'm asking that you pray about all these things, take them before the Lord, seek His faith, see if it lines up with his holy word and in all things take no man's word don't take mine take the Lord's if you seek him you will find him so Father God I come to you Lord in the name of Jesus Father God again I'm speaking in your name I'm speaking in your name Jesus so let me not say one word that's not of you I have given you my life it is yours to do with as you please you set kings up, you pull, pull kings down. You raise people up, you raise them down, God. I, I'm happy, Lord, if you would have me cleaning bathrooms, Lord, I, just so I can serve you. Now, Lord, I bind every demonic force that would come against this from going out. And, Lord, I lose heaven. I lose heaven. Legally dominion has been given to man so i'm asking you to legally i'm asking you i loose you i set you free to do whatever you need to do on behalf of my life and those i love and to get this word out in jesus name so give us ears to hear what your holy spirit is saying to us soften our hearts to receive and give us eyes of discernment to see clearly discernment lord discernment seeing the difference between what's right and almost right I ask this all in Jesus' name, let your will be done on earth as in heaven. Oh, and Lord, those spirits that I bound, I cast them into outer darkness, bound in chains till the day of judgment, in Jesus' name. Okay, this is a vision I had while I was praying, weeping before the Lord, and it, it is called, the title he gave me, The Collapsing of America's House Vision. I'm going to read it, and I'm talking to him when this came. And I was wide awake when this came. My eyes were open. I see, I see, I see a man, a beautiful man on a white stallion, a majestic, beautiful stallion. This man is you, my love, whose brightness drives all darkness away. I see you, that you are dressed in white with a brown sandals and a white robe type garment on top of it you must be wearing pants because your legs are covered in your left hand is a pair of huge balances that are fully tilted to one side in the other is a very very large huge sledgehammer the head of it is dark. Upon your head sits a crown made of many crowns. You are riding this horse at a furious speed. Your hair is snowy white, but I can't see your face right now, my love. Just a beautiful, bright light. I hear your voice, and it sounds like thunder, and you say, You have been weighed in the balance. You have been found guilty you are guilty and then i see up ahead of you of, of him in a large is a large magnificent house highly decorated but its foundation sits upon wood wooden stilts the writer my lovely jesus i hear you say again guilty and i now see you and i see your holy face your eyes are flashing with holy righteousness and judgment as you raise the massive sledgehammer with one hand and the scales in the other. There are no reins on the horse who seems to comprehend your commands with no words being spoken between you and him. As you near the magnificent house built upon stilts, you swing at the first back stilt and the impact of the sledgehammer. Contacting the stilt sounds like a large clap of thunder. And immediately the stilt cracks and breaks in two. 
the house still stands and tell he, my lovely Jesus, you yell again, guilty, and swing the second time at the wooden stilt directly in front of the now broken one. Again, it sounds like a clap of thunder, and it splinters into what seems to be a million pieces. And the great house comes crashing to the ground moments after you, my lovely Jesus, rode out of its way. What happened, Jesus? My love, what just happened? He turns around on the now slowing horse, then stops and speaks. He points at the pile of rubble that was once a beautiful house, and he speaks, and again in a voice as loud as thunder, these words. Your house falls, America. Your house falls. No longer great among others. Your fall is now. The fall shall be great. This fall is just. Your economy, your infrastructure is no more than a pile of rubbish. And I take from you your money and your position in power as I collapse it all. I am the arm of justice. I do my father's bidding. O oh, harlot bride, who will sleep with you now? Little daughter, weep no more for your nation, for she is no longer one nation under God, but one nation under all gods. She has become Babylon. Pray for the lost. Pray for the lukewarm and cold-hearted. But do not pray for the restoration of your nation and its wicked, evil government. After your nation is brought to her knees and humbled, and war has invaded your lands, then your people will cry, will weep and travail. And I will no longer hide my face from the majority of those still here that return to me or come seeking me for the first time. Little daughter, of mine your nation is out of time but those who are truly mine the time of miracles is upon you as i protect and supply for those who are mine then he turned on the white horse and became as a glorious bright light brighter than the sun itself and continued to ride as this vision with my eyes open disappeared O oh, Jesus, my love, forgive us, for we have sinned, and we as a nation are reaping unto our bosom what we have indeed sown. These are the verses he gave me. Matthew six, twenty-four, First Timothy six, ten, Hosea ten, twelve through fourteen, Galatians six, seven through eight, Second Peter two. 20 through 22 Matthew 7 24 through 27 Psalms 9 7 through 8 Psalms 89 14 and Daniel 2 21 22 Please pray about these things I know I am thank you God bless